Guitarists like to innovate, and innovation is great. Have you ever thought of creating a new technique, a new style, a new approach to playing the guitar? If you have, I'm here to tell you to stop innovating right now. At least until the end of this video because you might be at risk of compromising your authenticity as an artist. Let me explain. Music is a creative field and it gets your creative juices flowing when you innovate. That's a good thing. But music is also an artistic field. And a hallmark of a great artist is to be authentic. Which means you need to check your intentions behind your desire to innovate. If you are innovating for the wrong reasons, your audiences will be able to sniff it out eventually. So, what does authenticity mean for guitarists? There are two opposing types of authenticity. Let's call them reconstructed authenticity and new identity authenticity. All right? Reconstructed authenticity refers to doing things the way they have been done in the past, or simply staying true to the original. For example, for a classical guitar performance to be authentic, you would have to play as closely to the score as possible to capture the composer's intentions with the right instrument, performance, setting, and technique. So that little thing I played just now, not very authentic. New identity authenticity refers to doing things in a way that's true to yourself as an artist. For example, as a singer-songwriter guitarist, to be authentic would be to write and perform original material that tell stories, capture emotions, and those that are from your personal experiences give you bonus authenticity points. Now, you can see that each genre of music has a different conceptualization of what authenticity is, but none is fully reconstructed or new identity. Rather, I want you to think of these two types of authenticity as two ends on a musical spectrum, and each genre of music occupies a point along the spectrum to define what authenticity is for an artist within that genre. As guitarists, we are in a special position because our instrument traverses so many genres from Western classical music to jazz, to fingerstyle, to pop, to rock, and the list goes on and on. So we can be authentic guitarists by accurately say interpreting classical repertoire or by composing a blazing heartfelt electric guitar solo or creating new percussive techniques on the acoustic guitar to push the sonic boundaries possible on this instrument. So all sounds good so far. But then how is this innovation dangerous? The danger of innovation, let's talk about that. So as I've said before, we need to check our intentions as we innovate. In this attention-seeking world that we are in today, we are enthralled by the idea of going viral or simply just getting more views, likes, shares, comments, you name it. As an artist, when you choose, whether consciously or unconsciously, to innovate for the purpose of getting more attention, you seriously compromise your authenticity as an artist. And I mean both ends of the authenticity spectrum. You compromise your reconstructed authenticity as you aren't capturing the essence of any existing valued and respected practice. You're creating something new after all. That would normally be great for your new identity authenticity. But this aspect of authenticity is founded upon the notion of you being true to yourself as an artist. If you're innovating not out of a musical motivation, but rather a desire for attention, you aren't doing justice to your identity as an artist. Even if you somehow succeed in mechanically innovating and actually do go viral or get lots of attention, eventually your discerning audiences will realize that you're not in it for the music. Now a true artist creates work that reflects who they are as a person and presents it for the world to experience. So I invite you to check yourself in the mirror before you set out to create something new, be it a song, a technique, ask yourself, what are you creating this for? Being an artist is not just about reaching more people, but also creating good art. And eventually that art will reach many more people simply because it's good art. So if you're an artist, 
I want to ask you, how important is it to be authentic to you? If you listen to artists and you're not an artist yourself, how important is it to you that an artist is authentic? So let's have a discussion, leave a note below and let's continue this dialogue. The conversation doesn't end with this video and I'm eager to learn more alongside all of you on this topic. So until next time, I'll see you again. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.